This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 24th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you straight from Chicago. And there's a look at what was happening last night as Patricia, the strongest hurricane ever in the Atlantic and Pacific basins, was making its way toward the shore of uh, western Mexico. map this morning shows that we have a bit of a surface front coming down through the Ohio River Valley to a surface low in Arkansas with the front extending down into Texas, rain ahead of that. We can see that rain on radar, but if you're heading for Fayetteville for the Arkansas-Auburn game today, it looks like it should be good weather as the rain has moved slightly to the south and east of that area. In the upper atmosphere, we have a bit of a trough coming across the central plains, and of course we're going to be watching Patricia and the remnants of Patricia as it comes across northern Mexico. With the clouds increasing overnight to last night, we basically see that temperatures are very mild on the order of uh, 12 to 14 degrees above where we typically are for this time of October. The uh, typical low for this time of year is around 51, and most readings are in the mid and upper 60s across central Alabama. On the watch warning map, we have a combination of flash flood watches, and uh, those red areas are flash flood warnings. And along with that, we have the light blue, which is freeze advisories, and then those back in uh, parts of uh, Colorado and uh, uh, Wyoming are basically uh, freeze warnings. The big news for us and the big news for much of the southeastern U.S. is that we're expecting over the next five days to see a good deal of rain on the order of as much as uh, 10 to 12 inches, especially along the coastal area of Texas. Uh, across our area, it looks like the amounts have risen just a little bit on the order of 2 to 3 inches, and we'll have to be watching carefully because those numbers could go up even higher uh, depending on the track, the exact track of the remnants of Patricia. Storm Prediction Center is uh, outlooking marginal risk for severe weather across parts of the eastern Great Lakes and down along the Texas coast. And then that marginal risk on day two, that'll be Sunday, is along the Louisiana coast primarily. There's a look at the Atlantic Basin, and we have nothing going on right now. And, of course, we have all been watching Patricia as it moves into Mexico. Uh, it's still this morning was a hurricane, but I expect it to be decreasing in intensity pretty rapidly as those mountains take a good... Uh, shot at it. There's a look at the uh, latest uh, satellite image for Patricia, the eye hard to see this morning. The National Hurricane Center's forecast track takes it to a uh, tropical storm by 1 o'clock today. The spaghetti plots show that uh, it looks like the remnant of Patricia will stay over the land, and if it does, it means that there's uh, very little likelihood it could develop. However, the European and the GFS are both forecasting it to come out over the north, the extreme northwestern Gulf, but very close to shore. So we'll have to watch what Patricia does. Uh, good news here, too, is that the water temperatures near the shore are fairly cool. So it looks like uh, there's not too much likelihood of development. But it is possible that Patricia could develop into a depression or perhaps even into a tropical storm. All right, let's get to modeling this morning. There's a look at the uh, GFS forecast for later today, and we see that low coming up into uh, extreme northeastern Mexico and extreme southern Texas. The uh, European also bringing the low up into that position, so they're both in reasonably good agreement and with lots of rain in Texas. By uh, Sunday, the low has come out, according to the GFS, the low has come out across the northwestern Gulf, and it looks like with that kind of intensity, you would expect that it may develop into something uh, in terms of a tropical depression or a uh, perhaps a tropical uh, storm. The upper air pattern shows that we have this little uh, shortwave trough coming across Texas that's going to be moving Patricia out. The GFS for uh, Monday takes the low up into the uh, coastal area of Louisiana, and uh, the uh, European does much the same thing, except that it's a little stronger, uh, but both of them taking it out over the water. By the time we get out to Tuesday, uh, the uh, low has been more or less absorbed ahead of that trough that's coming across the uh, U.S., and uh, so that will be ending the rain as the trough moves fairly quickly into the Ohio River Valley. It looks like that will be ending the rain for us on Wednesday, as we should see uh, uh, improving weather with the rain ending. As we get out into uh, Thursday, 
the, that trough moves on, so we should see uh, some nice weather returning as we get on the back side of that trough. And then on Friday, we're coming under a bit of a ridge, so while we get a short cool down for Thursday, we should warm back up on Friday. And again, on Saturday, we're pretty much under a ridge, but we do have a bit of a uh, trough coming out of the southwest. And so uh, we should uh, once again be looking for some rain to occur uh, probably late in the day on Saturday and into Sunday for next weekend. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the bottom line is things stay pretty active. We see that we do have that little shortwave trough coming out of the southwestern U.S. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, the 3rd of November. And then by the time we get out to the 6th of November, we have a very deep trough over the eastern half of the country. And that spells both a combination of some chillier weather as well as the potential for perhaps some severe weather with that system. We'll have to wait and see. As you know about voodoo country, things can change drastically on the next model run. And really quick, you can see that the, uh, the normals or the 30-year the averages for uh, central Alabama are uh, 51 for the low and 71 or 73 for the afternoon high. And you can see we're going to stay fairly close to those numbers, cooling down after today. Well, I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Expect to have the next one of the Weather Extreme videos posted on Sunday morning. In the meantime, enjoy your Saturday and Godspeed.